Hi guys, and welcome back to another plot review. So I'm going to be trying to do kind of one of the medieval fantasy type stuff, and also one of the modern one as well. Kind of try and mix it up so that you get kind of a, an idea for both. Now this is just an insane plot, and it honestly is. Um, I'm amazed at all the kind of detail and all the different things. It's probably going to take quite a while just to go through this plot. I mean, it's packed. It is. If you're looking for a good city plot, this one will do. I mean. The buildings aren't like huge skyscrapers, but there is so much little details. You know, you got like plane in the right in the sky up there, um, helicopter. You got cars and parking, and I think there's a subway as well. There's, there's everything. It's got everything, <laughs> basically. So you obviously got a nice bench. So whose plot is this, and where can you find it? I think that's quite important. I think. So this is made by Quitster, and Quitster is just basically since the beginning of this server has been almost like building this solidly. Um, so if you guys want to get to it, the ID is there, free, semicolon minus two. So if you do, slash plot me, and this is on plot me city, so make sure you're on there, but if you do plot me TP, free, semicolon minus two, you can come and check it out. You actually appear on this side, which is pretty random, but at least, you know, you kind of get guided by this fence and the big arrows and, and things, so <laughs> you do get that. What I'm actually going to do just to clean this up is some of this. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. There we go. And there we go. See? Now I got this kind of tendency bit. But anyway, <laughs> let's go in. So you kind of if you were a car, obviously you'd be driving, you got like this hotel. So that's obviously a hotel, they're kind of joined by this cool sky bridgey type thing. It's not like a super high one, it's just like a normal kind of small one, but it is at an angle, which is really cool. Um you got a bus stop as well, like little details like this are really cool. So I mean on the plot world city, these are kind of like roads in a way, kinda. They're kind of like um, too too thick, so you know, like two actual roads. But I haven't been able to put the lines down the city. Oh, the plot world's expanding too much. And then you got these nice little cars, and there you go. That's a Quitster car. Nice little taxi. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's let's just keep on going around here. You got like the nice little road signs. You got this kind of wrapping around to a car park. Then you got some more cars. I think this is yeah, Zarius X design. So. Got some of the Zarius ones as well as uh, Jack Thunder, and th this is the best way to actually credit cars: is the number plate. You know, just shove the number plate with the name of the person that actually uh, designed it, or or tutorialed it, or whatever. I think that always works. Now you can already see the detail here. So you got two towers, you got some planes and helicopters. You've got a playground. There is actually a subway, an underground. So you can see the little signs for the underground. So I'll have a look at that a little bit later. You've also got a tennis court, a little garden, and a swimming pool. Uh, it, it's insane. This place is insane. And I'm actually going to go through almost in order that I've, I've seen and built and um, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, and there's also stuff like this which will lead to a secret room which we'll see when we go into the subway. And I have seen lots of bits of this actually growing as it kind of gets bigger. But also stuff like the trees as well going around and the like park benches and lamps. Uh, bus stops and there's like a little stall, all of that kind of little detail which fills up the space without packing it. Oh, and you've also got some birds. Excellent. <laughs> so these are the stuff that I don't even know, like I kind of no noticed. Is this a sign? Oh, hi. <laughs> there's also a, pi uh, a plane high in the sky. Yeah, just behind that. And uh, yeah, made by Quickster, the suit wearing duck. And LD Modern Text Pack, of course, which is always good because some of the textures I've actually been looking at from this plot. So you kind of come into this cool hall, and all, like, instantly it's like, whoa. Especially with these lights being staggered. And you come into reception. So you go, got a nice little reception area here. And actually, I really like the actual inside of it as well. It just feels really nice. I don't know. It's just cool. It's just cool. Um, so you've got that. You've also got some seats for waiting and that kind of stuff. Uh, I wonder what this is. Mm-hmm. That's a pipe. <laughs> Uh, so you got one of those nice little fountain. I mean, this is really cool. This is really awesome. There's actually a fountain that is part of the reception area. So that's a really unique, cool idea. I just, I, I just love that that it's actually built in, and then you got this like little kind of streams going down on two sides or three side, three sides. So this is the main like place where you actually go, and then you got all the other bits there. And then for the staff, it's actually through that. That's just awesome. Uh, kind of more seating areas there. It's got these cool little styly bits here, and you got shops down the bottom, which is really cool. So, fancy pants, the fanciest pants in town. Excellent. So then you go around here, and yeah, pretty good. 
Oh, I'm guessing this. Oh, it's a changing room. I was thinking showers straight away. Never mind. <laughs> but I do quite like these little hooks and things. Like, nice little detail there. Uh, what else have we got here? All the floors and things. That's quite nice, cool. Especially when you've got Sky Lounge Bar with Rooftop Lounge. I mean, that sounds awesome. So we've got those kind of bits. Um, got shirts for him and her. Feel the cotton on your skin. Okay. There you go. Another little, little one there. And another change room. Very, very, you know, very similar to the other one, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to here to fill them up. And then you've got this ridiculously cool, like, uh, stairway, which we'll, we will be going up. So hats as well. Another little one. Really simple. Uh, what's the next one as well? The shoe factory. So even more shoes. Very, like, similar designs, but it doesn't really matter. They're kind of there to show that there's shops. And that kind of concludes it around. So, what have we got up here? Now, I'm going to go up the stairs instead. Uh, there is a, a elevator, of course, which I love the elevators when they got like the door open because then, well, you know, you can just pop up onto those. But we're not going to take the elevator; we're going to take the stairs. And also, if you notice the actual carpet as well, it's kind of leading us around this, and it actually feels completely different here than it does here, for example. Really, really good. Loads of like use of color as well. Uh, and there you go. So that's the elevator. Did we already see one? The elevator was on the other side as well. Meh. <laughs> Meh. But yeah, if we go up these stairs, which are already pretty cool. Uh, oh, we're up here, which is, and I think you can guess by these tacos and hamburgers. Oh yeah, and also plates and stuff. This is definitely some sort of restaurant, which is good. And you got the bottles of wine and things. Um, let's keep on going around here and find more stuff. Cakes and... I can't remember what that one's supposed to be. I've seen it before. Cookie. Gigantic cookie. Excellent. That's what we want. More cake. So then you got the kitchen. Authorised personnel only. I like those little signs. You know, authorised personnel only type things are really good. So there we go. We've got a nice little kitchen. Got some plates. Got some like bottles of stuff. Wine. Sinks. Uh, I still use texture these. I really do. But I will. These three will be textured at some point. <laughs> but yeah, even that's kind of like looking over. So it's really nice. Especially when you look outside. You know, the actual view is pretty good. But anyway. Let's go up one more floor, see what's up here. So there's quite a bit of a jump between this floor. There we go. And if you have a look down here, you can see the actual stairway. It weaves right, you know, really nicely into this kind of elevator shaft. And I'm pretty sure the other elevator is on the other side. Yeah, so you've got two elevators kind of separate from each other, which is quite nice as well. Um, so let's go in one of the rooms. We'll check out a couple of them. Here we go. So we're in a very pink room. Oh dear, pink, pink. <laughs> you got a nice little kitchen. Very simple. Kind of couple of plates, a nice little table. It's kind of lounging area with an L D T V. Not that I'm I'm branding or anything, but L D T V, you know. It's not just H D, it's L D. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you got that, a cool little desk over here. Uh now this for the current texture pack that um <laughs> you guys have got doesn't have these like metadata, it's just well, those things, but I'm gonna kinda of mess around. Got a big pink bed. Uh White wardrobes, and then in here we have got a bathroom. And I quite like actually, I don't know if that was on purpose, but the actual wraparound bit kind of hiding in private, well, except for this. I mean, if you're, if you're sat down there in a car, I would I would be quite, you know, I don't know if I could go here. <laughs> That's good though. And a weird little shower as well. So, you know, it's really like nice and crammed, especially for. A circular building? I'm really surprised, you know, at how much has actually been put in. So let's go for another one. And have a look. Oh, now this is completely different. And this is what I really like about this plot as well. Every single little bit is actually completely different. So there we go. Look, you got another style of kitchen in here. Uh, all the stuff there. Like a nice little table. Uh, another LDTV. It's not just... A t it's not... I, I can't even speak today. I was trying to actually do an advert voice, but... It's not just HDTV. This is LDTV. Boom. Yeah. A nice little bed. And uh, where's the bathroom? Is this more private? You like to be showing the world, don't you? <laughs> it's slightly more private anyway. It is closer. But nice little like toilet there. A little bit better shower, I think. I, I kind of like that a little bit better. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a bit better. That's a bit cooler. But yeah, loads of different ones like that. I'll fly up a couple more floors and see if there's any other different ones as well. I haven't fully explored this plot because there's so much. Uh, if we go to, I don't know, one before the top or the top? Okay, we'll go one before the top. There we go. 
So if we go into one of these, let's have a look at these. There we go. Again, completely different. Oh, the TV's gone. Unless it's under construction, which is possible. It is possible. But still, prone. The prone. <laughs> I better, yeah, I'll put down the seat. There you go. But yeah, really cool. You guys, another one. Oh, don't need the button. Uh, so yeah, I think it needs a TV. It does need a TV. I, I have to fix this. Well, if I can get it in one. Okay, two. God damn it. Well. Well. I can see why he hasn't put a TV here yet. <laughs> there we go. LDTV. I think that's supposed to be there. Ace. I actually really like how this is done as well. Kind of looks more like a table that way. It hides the back. That's good. So I'm just wrapping those around. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. A little coat rack. Yeah, really cool. So yeah, let's go up to the top anyway. Let's go up one further. I'm actually going to go up the stairs and get full effect by doing this. So then we're one before the roof. So we've got this like really cool little lounge area. Lots of coloured glass and things which I really like. And oh, this is the stairway up. Rooftop lounge, yeah, so. Oh, there's a tree. The iron, uh, not the iron, the jungle wood which is a grating thing. Really cool. Aha, now we're in the like sky lounge I guess. Sky Lounge? Yeah, that sounds cool. Go with Sky Lounge. <laughs> I don't know what it's actually called. Oh, it's the Sky Lounge. Excellent. <laughs> there we go. So that's where I got that from. Right, so yeah, you got like a little bar. Go in here. You got some like drinks and stuff. A little kitchen area. Till here. So, oh, that's kind of like a nice little viewy bit. Also, a really nice chandelier. I didn't even realise that this dome existed, so that's really cool. I like that. That's really awesome. There we go through here. More plants and more tables and stuff. The kind of usual stuff that you'd uh, kind of expect. So let's keep on going. I actually want to see what's around here. Oh, I'll have a little seating area. So you can look out at stuff down there. Stuff. There we go. So if we keep on going up, then we get to this kind of rooftop area, which is pretty awesome, especially with this. Let's kind of look down things. So this is where you sunbathe. And am I trapped? Oh, I am indeed. I am indeed trapped. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that building. And we got this cool, like, you know, you normally get a, a antenna spire thing. Uh, and also, I really like the solar panels being on an angle. That works as well, as well as the air conditioning units, all that kind of, like, nice little detail. Why don't you go and check up here while we're as high as we're going to be and have a look at the plane. I think it was one of mine. 737. Yeah, 737. But with a nice like colour scheme. I really like this colour scheme. Now, this is going to be difficult, isn't it? Getting inside. Hmm. Well, actually, I like that stripe. So, yeah, if you want an idea for kind of colour schemes yeah, on the 737, check out this plot as well. That's really cool. I like the, the white stripe there. looks really cool, actually. Hmm. Interesting. But, uh, all right. Screw it. I'll fix it. Don't worry. I'll fix it. There you go. Ooh, yeah. I like this. Now this looks cool as hell. Oh, there's an open door there. Um, this just looks cool. So I got like all the food stuff down here. Uh, then you go through here and you get these like proper lounging things with the TVs. Um, so I at the cockpit. There we go. Really cool cockpit. A lot better than mine so far. So I'll probably be taking inspiration from here as well. Ideas, but I like the I like how the color scheme. Now, I didn't even think about that. The actual outside color scheme, you know, working its way in like this. You know the white, like light blue. Uh, was it light? Yeah, light blue, blue, and then white. Those really work as well as this flooring as well. I think it's diamond. Yeah, it's diamond. Cool. So yeah, the normal seating. Uh, also these overhead things with the slabs being used. That's kind of cool as well. Oh, get on that. There you go. Let's fix this. <laughs> but yeah, that's really cool. And I'm guessing this is the bathroom. Oh, uh, what? You usually like having windows to see out. So in the sky, where nobody can see you, that's where you get privacy. All right, well, that's fair enough, man. Whatever you want, you duck. God damn duck. All right, I'm gonna. There we go. Obviously, you guys can't do that, so you might get stuck in there. And of course, cobwebs. Uh, I'm gonna make some smoky ones. But there we go. If we jump down, so that's pretty cool as well. Got a nice little helicopter. I think that's the Sea King, maybe. But let's check out this building. Uh, via the sky bridge. Let's do it that way. Yeah, let's do it that way. I'm I'm not breaking it. I'm fixing it. 
Oh, there we go. I didn't even notice that was there. Yeah, it's kind of obvious now. That's weird. But there we go. Nice little sky bridge. And that comes down into here. And this, is, again, is like a similar style but different. And I really like that. Oh, that's just cool, isn't it? That little water feature which you walk down. Awesome. Okay, so then we got here, we got like a check-in, customer services, and then you got the rooms with all the keys. That's a really nice idea as well. Um, I like how the vines and stuff are, are growing down. That's really awesome. I really do like that. That's just cool. We got elevators here as well, and there's a stairway, a different one as well. Nice little different style. I'm just making sure I explore everything down here. Normal seating area and type of stuff, and uh, a casino. Mm, let's go down here. <laughs> now, this casino was actually my idea because I remember Quitster actually left a sign saying, Any ideas? Because <laughs> this wraps around all the way around the back, as you can see. So I was like, Ah, uh, casino. It's got to be a casino. You haven't got one yet. It's probably the only thing that isn't in the plot. But this is a, was a really cool, like, gambling den, I think it is. Yeah, Gambler's Bar. There we go. Ah, oh, Ace. You got the little head for beer. That's good. Actually, I really like that. Is this how you. Oh, that's how you get in. Cool. That's pretty awesome. There we go. So you've got like all these different tables like poker. And putting sign with these type of things is really good. But that's a really cool poker table. I like how there's actually a stand for the dealer as well to sit and stand in here. That's cool. Uh, slot machines, obviously. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Slot machines even says it up there. But <laughs> there we go. That's really cool. Blackjack. Oh, yeah. Um, I may have put guns down here at some point. So that when, when you go and see it, that's pretty weird. That's creepy. That plant is kind of creepy. That's just strange. I don't know why. <laughs> why not? Why not? And we've got blackjack again. Uh, then snooker. Uh, so I've seen this design before as well. Which is really awesome. Like using the signs and gl and uh, green wool. Green wool. Yeah, that, that just looks awesome. See, so yeah, I think these are the actual racks for uh, the uh, these thing magic I can't remember what they're called. Uh, and they got a roulette table, which is awesome. Seen a couple of like designs the same as that, but pretty really good. Let's check out the women's first. Really nice little bathrooms. There you go. Yeah, pretty pretty uh, kind of standard. There's not not really much you can do with bathrooms. Uh, but I kind of like the uh, wood wood bit in there as well. Uh, the use of the different types of uh, lighting as well, because I've got you know metas for for different lights and things. So that's really cool. And then you got the men's. You got the urinals here. I, I did have to ask him what these actually were, and then he did say they were urinals. So. Those are pretty awesome, uh, but that's the little de gambling kind of casino, and you can see that we're not even that much done in the plot. Uh, if you guys do want to get builder, if you get lost in a plot for this long, you will probably get builder. And I don't mean like lost like trap me somewhere. <laughs> I mean like properly lost, as in you just can't stop us exploring. Now this again is really cool. You know you've got this whole thing going up there, which looks awesome. It does look awesome. Uh, did they, did it actually go a little bit? Is it supposed to be going in like that? I don't know, we started doing it. Oh well. Um, but yeah, even got like stuff up here. Let's go and have a look in some of these rooms. So there we go. Open these ones again, like kind of like small rooms. Massive bed. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I don't I think there's our oh, yeah, these are like the, the smaller rooms out of all of them. Whoa, or not? See, just so much to explore. Oh, look at this shower. This is huge. Again, privacy, dude. Privacy. Put about that against the wall. <laughs> now you're just showering naked, and everybody can see you. That's that's great. <laughs> but it is really cool. I don't know what that thing is. Oh, it's just a little shelf. For some reason, I saw it like this, and I thought, oh, I don't know what it was. God damn it, doors. There we go. We jump through here. Yeah, let's check out this one as well. A little bit different. So similar design. I think they might be on, on the kind of same design. These ones, maybe, possibly, not sure. Uh, if we just fly to the top, there we go. Oh, these are big rooms. Or not? All are normal rooms. Why went to the other room over there? Or is this a big room? Oh no, I think they're used on a weird. Ah, oh, I know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. But yeah, another one. Really cool. Right, different one. Oh god, my brown wool is hideous. I need to change that. <laughs> but, uh, like, really cool. Again, shower to the world. You know, people over there, you can wave to them while you're showering. Um, probably quite inappropriately, but uh, still pretty good. 
So there you go, that's pretty awesome, I think you guys will agree. Uh, and also like the stairway, let's go up to the top of this as well. Ooh, what does that say? Roof Terrace, yeah, let's go and check out this as well. So there we go, now you've got like a proper roof, and I love this roof. It's like got a weird, crazy dance floor. Oh, it is a dance floor, yeah, there you go, DJ booth. So you got one of these up here. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you got a nice old like disco area and then a pool and a pool bar. I mean come on, this is just cool, isn't it? I uh, like actually I really like how you use the fridge thing there. Yeah. Oh look at this, all of this stuff. Uh that's good. I just need to clear down this. There we go. So yeah, I mean you can already see that in those two buildings alone and the plane and all that kind of stuff, just so much detail has gone on and, and just gone into it. Now we've got a really cool playground here. I mean, this is just ace. This is just awesome. Uh, you've got also got obviously the tennis court. Uh, I think this one's my tutorial one, possibly. Can't remember. But I'm sure those signs. If those signs up, I probably punch them out because I'm not too bothered about people not crediting me on my designs on my own server. It doesn't really bother me. Um, so yeah, here you got this like climbing thing. Uh, I did change over the sand, so I need to change over the red sand to make that flow a little bit better. Uh, but then you've got like a is this a slide? Oh, you got like a little climby thing. Climby thing. Fucked up slide, yo. <laughs> yes, it is. There you go, you got a slide. Uh, you got a climby thing. You got uh, like a rope, so using like the cobweb metadatas and stuff like that. Uh, one of those spinny things that I can't remember the name of. Swings attached to this. So, I mean, for ideas, this has just got so much. And also, like, bins and the sitting area for parents. It's just awesome. It's just awesome in that way. So. Let's have a look over here as well, a nice little garden. You get lost. Uh, as soon as you get lost in a garden, if you have something this small... Uh, now, that's that's me. They're supposed to be uh, butterflies, but the one I'm messing around with, I've kind of taken those out. That's supposed to be butterflies. Ignore that. <laughs> so you got this nice little like, zen area. Like, nice little, nice little garden type area. I really like this. So you get this kind of scene. Look at that. Now, I don't know if Quits are meant to do this, but I can't tell that I'm really in a tiny little plot. I can't really tell. I, I mean, I say tiny, but I, 100 blocks. But you can't really tell. Now, over here, I've just that's just caught my eye. Now, he did say he had a tree house, but that's awesome. Look at this. Look at this little hidden thing. I mean, this is why quits to go building builder, because he, he kind of like hid all this type of stuff. Look at this. I mean, what the hell? You didn't even. You guys didn't even notice that it was kind of here. But how awesome is that as well? Look. That's just cool. I mean, it's just cool. So, yeah, I mean, you can you can tell like the amount of um, time that's been spent just detailing this place. It's just amazing, really. And that's a really cool building as well. I haven't seen that one before. Uh, and then if you go over to this side, we actually have a swimming pool. Yep, this pot's got everything. Uh, so you got like an, another another kind of uh, like bit coming off here, and actually built as part of the hill. It's then expanding, so it's not just like a random little. You know, cliff in a way on this side. It's it's a bit better. It's actually got the purpose over here to make a little pool. Uh, they got this like little area here. Uh, again, kind of keeping with the sandstone as the main kind of color, but then also changing up the actual other kind of secondary color. That one's obviously got white. This one has got you know the brick. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so there you go, public pool. Nice little kind of reception area. You then go through these gates into the changing areas. Got the changing areas, and then you got the lockers. Uh, I actually added these lockers, but actually, uh, I, th I think Quits has actually changed these and put in some coat pegs. That's pretty cool. Uh, and here you got the bathroom. Nowhere to wash your hands, but that doesn't matter in this place. That's establishment, obviously. Uh, showers. You know, pretty public. You know, you have to walk through people showering to get to the pool, but that's fine. <laughs> you got a little bar as well here. I think this is nice, a nice little touch actually. That's really cool. It's got a little. <laughs> it's like the wildest way to get to a kitchen ever. I love it. I love that. Um, that's really cool. Nice little kitchen. And there we go. Now you're in the actual pool. I mean, this has already got you lost. I don't even know how long this video is, but it's just so good. Look, you got a little like uh, kids pool. There you go, kitty pool. A little slide. Oh, that's awesome. Then you got this part, and it's not just like a normal place. You've just got you know where you can like swim lengths. You've also got the diving boards here. So you got a couple of small ones here, you know, wajonk. Uh, obviously you got the lines going down. Also the different lights here are actually, you know, stained clay and uh, stained glass and then a light. 
behind that. I think that just worked really, really well. If we go up here, there we go. Got our first little one, and then got a little, uh, kind of bigger one as well. Which, as this is kind of like in scale, is pretty, pretty tall. But yeah, big pull. Now the next two things that you've got, which are really cool, are slides. Oh yeah. So if you go up here, you got the crazy drop, and you got the gentle slide. I actually prefer the gentle slide, um, but I have been on one of these crazy drop type things. Now if we go down here, you kind of go down this tube, and they do drop. And I'm sure you got some of you guys have actually done these, or you can drop into a big pool down there. And it's pretty terrifying, it usually hurts a bit. <laughs> but then we've also got the gentle slide. And I kind of like this one. There you go, look, you can see me enjoying this. Look at my fun. So much fun. Enjoyment. And that blank face. Making my way down the slide. <laughs> but yeah, that's just cool. It is just cool. It really is. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a new touch. So use the new paintings that I put in and already applied them. So yeah. Awesome pool as well. Now that's actually part of that one there, is actually part of this little tower that comes out. Which I thought was a really good touch as well. So this is just awesome as a plot in general. Now we do also have the subway. I know you guys are thinking, how the hell can this get any more stuff in it but there is a subway so yeah look at the little tower that has the little but you go in there but you didn't feel uh, that when you're going up the stairs you didn't feel that you're going out of the building but you were <laughs> so that's just awesome now I would probably with this is actually push this back and do that that's my personal preference but I'll, I'll leave that in it's your choice <laughs> but yeah you know you got a car park and stuff now let's go in the subway now I'm pretty sure this is all that there is left, but I don't really know, um, and that's crazy. So there we go, here's the underground, we go down underneath here, again, you're lost in another world. Now this, oh, it, it added so much to it, so I haven't even thought about this. So you've got somewhere that, you know, somebody's busking here, so you've got the guitar, uh, speaker, you know, like a little mat that they're actually sitting on playing, that's that's a ridiculously good idea. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, Murder by the Book. Underground bookstore. <laughs> Murder by the Book. What the hell? <laughs> so many little stores and things. Food Plaza. Sweet, sweet food stuff. Yeah. There you go. Nice little one there. That's just cool as well. <laughs> oh yeah, and then you got the Metadata Test Facility. This is a bit of a weird store. Very strange. You can see him like messing around with all the extra junk that I've got. But really cool. Really, really cool. Quack, quack. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Look over here. Fabulous flowers. See, I'm sure this is a new one as well. I still need to do the sunflower, goddammit. It's been on my mind for ages. And I got a little till. Um, what have we got over on this? Oh my god. Quitster, creator of this city plot. I think that's a pretty good ending. I didn't actually realize that this existed, but that's awesome. I love how his head's so small and his body's so big. <laughs> that's brilliant. Right, so then you go through these like ticket machines, and yes, there is a metadata for um, silver-ish. What are they called? Fence gates. If you grab a stick on the server and you just keep on whacking it, eventually, there we go, eventually we'll come across this, which then you can open and close. So, I don't know what the actual data is, but it's just in there for the time being. So then we come on to the actual platform. And you can see here we've got, you know, the normal kind of standard rails. Pretty cool. Um, got use some metadata here, got lights in the floor, got lights in the ceiling. Uh, and you can see the actual curves that, that, that he's kind of gone for as well as these. You can see a train over there. We're actually going to go over there. And one thing he's done really well is he's put the train on this side on purpose. So you have to, you have to find your way to get to the other side. Now, where the hell are we? There we go. There's the steps down. So you have to almost explore. Like, um, it's almost like showing you that. And obviously you can just fly over here and you can fly up. Oh, you can't fly up. Damn. Smart. Clever duck. Cleverest duck of them all. But yeah. So then you have to go down this crazy light drug alley. Which is great. <laughs> so then you go down there. Come up. And I wonder if there's anything. I don't think there's anything else you get that you could actually fit down here, to be honest. There you go. Access forbidden. Excellent. And you got this nice little train. Really simple. Cool. See? Like, nice little uh, rails and things. And it, for a tiny 
tiny plot. This doesn't actually seem to take up that much room. It's just awesome. And of course the doors are closed on that side. So yeah, now I'm just going to show you something else. A secret that I did find, because I, I like to hunt for secrets and things. But um, another secret actually. The treehouse I didn't notice until you know, quite a while back. But if you go down here, you've got this emergency exit. Oh yeah. And it comes to this weird, weird room. I have no idea why this room is here. He hasn't explained it to me yet, but stay calm. Dial 112. Explain the situation. Is 112 a number? I don't know, it's 999 in the UK, but anywhere else. Then you climb up the ladder, and then you're back out again. <laughs> so that's just awesome. I love how that's almost like hidden there. Beginning of the plot. But yeah, that is quits this plot. It It's incredible. It really is. It made Builder before it even looks like this. So, you know, this is kind of something that if you guys are really interested in and getting a city plot, or get, just getting some ideas. There's so much in here that it'll give you ideas. But if I just grab up the info again, there you go. So, if you do plot me, space, TP, free, semicolon, two, come and leave a comment. So you can do plot me comments to actually read them. I haven't got any, any at all. Freaking awesome. There you go. So if you do plot, oh, plot comment. Can I actually click? Oh, you can. There you go. Now it does. But yeah, come and check out the plot, and it, it's just awesome. It's just awesome in general. It's just a really well-rounded plot. And there's so much to explore in it. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.